Hello everyone, and what is going on today? Tomcat here, and you're back for another Spin Tires video. Now, today's video is going to be on a trail that I recently found that I am almost certain is one of, well, one of the best trails that I've personally ever driven in Spin Tires. I, I just loved it. Like, the, it was one of the best trails to wheel. It was just so, so nice. And I um, drove it a little bit a while back, uh, or earlier today, and... Um, when I was driving it, I was like, dude, we've got to make a video on this. Like, this has to be a video. Um, and this particular truck, by the way, that we're going to be using is um, was by Nix, and it's a uh, Chevy S10, uh, you know, solid axle swab, full full width axle. It's, it's, it's pretty beastly. So what we're going to be doing is just to make it interesting, we have the 2012 uh, Ram. It looks like a 5500. I'm going to go with 5500. And, um... Well, I scratch that. It looks like a 3500, but it's called, they call it a 5500 in the game, or at least that's how it shows up. So, I am going to go with the, actually, the IROC 4, eh, the grabbers, yeah, the grabbers actually look pretty good. Um, and then from here, we will go, exhaust 2? They may have, oh yeah, they did some updates. Exhaust 1, exhaust 2, I actually like exhaust 2, that's kind of cool, it kind of goes halfway back the truck, and then it's a side dump. And let's see, where are we going? Hitch, and gooseneck with ramps. Anyways, so that's what we're going to be doing to make it a little interesting. We're going to actually haul the, um, we're going to haul the S10 to the off-roading area. Well, off-roading, I say off-roading area, to the specific spot, the specific trail. And then from there, we're going to have some fun with the S10. So, I'm actually, like, I just really enjoyed this trail the last time I ran it. It reminded me of really well done off-road park trails like it, it seemed less like a wilderness trail and more like an off-road park trail because it was really really well kept up and really really nice and it just looked good um which i feel like depending on the kind of trails you like you may either like that or not like that i happen to really like the whole you know well maintained off-road park style trails i think they're really cool i like the look of them but, um, it, again, like I said, it all depends on, you know, the style of wheeling you prefer. Because some people, like I said, some people don't like that. So, aw, oh, crap, I forgot to turn off that engine. Stop and change. Okay, cool. So, give me my advanced mode. Bring the anchors back up. And bring the ramps back up. Now, I did want to touch on something a little bit uh, in this video, and that is in my video, my real-life video that I did a few days ago with Jeep Guy, where we went to the Dragon in the FRS, we found a Supra, we found a couple other cars. I, I, I really wanted to have my GoPro for that video, and what happened was my... Here's how it works. This is what goes all the way back to grid life. It's a long story, right? It's a, it's a long story, and it's kind of weird, but anyways, bear with me. So... What ended up happening was I, like, kind of traded GoPros back and forth with a couple of friends of mine, and that, that wasn't a problem, you know, that wasn't a problem, but what was a problem was when everybody started running out of battery, and another friend of mine just so happened to have a big crate full of GoPro equipment and batteries and mounts and all that sort of stuff, so I was like, oh, okay, cool, we'll put a battery in it, we'll go about what we're doing, so... What ended up happening was my battery, uh, we switched batteries, and I put the battery in the GoPro, and he went off for another track session, my other friend went off for another track session, and then I got ready for mine. Went to go turn the camera on, and apparently the battery wasn't compatible, or it didn't work, or something like that, because the GoPro wouldn't turn on. And so now, basically what we've got is somewhere, somewhere floating around is my old GoPro battery, and the current GoPro battery that I have doesn't work with my Hero 4 Silver Edition, I think. So anyways, so what I, di what I did was I went and I ordered, um, I think, four GoPro batteries. and Four GoPro batteries and a charger, so we're not going to ever have a shortage of GoPro footage again. Um, and we won't ever have the battery issue again, because like I said, I ordered um, four new batteries and a charger that charges two GoPro batteries at the same time. So rest assured, that is coming. It should come this, uh, this coming week. But um, there will be you know, GoPro side mount footage on the car. I really wanted to do that too because that will give some, that, that'll give, you know, that'll give Jeep guy a break in the passenger seat when he's filming. 
and it'll give you guys a break because nobody wants to watch like ultra shaky footage all the time. It's 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 not the best thing. And to me, I was like, you know what? I I have two options here. I could either not make a real life video, you know, that day at all, or I could make one. And, you know, some of the footage may have been a little shaky because it was passenger seat filming. But I was like, well, either way, we got to get the GoPro back. So it's on it's on its way back to being up and running and in commission and everything. But that's just kind of an update, a situation update on how, um, on, on, you know, what's up with the GoPro and why you guys haven't seen any GoPro footage in a while. Um, but that's going to be corrected here pretty soon. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about is the new GoPro drone. Because the GoPro uh, Karma is on its way out, it'll be out soon, very very soon actually, and then the Hero 5 I think just came out, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until I can get them both together, and then I'm gonna order, um, I'm gonna order them as a set, like as a pair, um, which by the way, this thing is freaking trucking at this point, like I did not think it would go all the way up into fourth gear and start bombing down this freaking trail, that's badass, but um, Anyways, I will be ordering a Hero 5 and Karma when they become available as a set, um, because I looked into some of the DJI drones, and I have a DJI Osmo, and it's, it's not a drone, obviously, you know, it's a handheld gimbal thing, and it's okay, um, it worked really well for me until recently it started, like, just cutting out and dying out, and, um, I'm gonna get in touch with DJI about it because it's really weird and I'm not sure why it's doing what it's doing. Um, it definitely shouldn't be doing what it's doing. Um, and it kind of puts a little bit of a, kind of puts a little bit of a damper on, on some of the real life footage that I wanted to do for you guys because I wanted to do some really nice, smooth panning shots with like, you know, whenever we go and have a meet, like a car meet up on the mountains and stuff like that. But that, like I said, that kind of puts a little bit of a damper on it because you're like, well, uh, how am I supposed to get ultra smooth shots if the Osmo's not working? So basically, it was being weird, being really weird actually, and kind of preventing me from getting any of that super smooth footage that I actually, you know, got the gimbal itself for. So I don't know what is going on with it, but hopefully we'll figure it out here pretty soon. Um, but like I said, the main thing I'm excited for is that Hero 5 with the Karma, because that is going to be, I think, that's what's going to push GoPro over the edge and kind of catch them back up with everybody else, because DJI, to be honest, has been encroaching on GoPro's territory, and uh, I think GoPro's about to take it back, big time. So, we're here at the trails, we're going to swap into the S10, and this thing, this is how you get off a trailer in this. It's just a beast of a truck. And we can go, there we go. Now... One of the first things that I do notice about this thing, though, is that its its water damage level is very, very high. Like, it's, or, well, very low because it's, like, you know, it comes in super quick. It's not the most, uh, it's not the most, off, like, it's not the most water-friendly truck. But I'm going to throw it in high and let these tires absolutely eat. Come on, TSLs. Oh, yeah, dude, it just, it, it, it eats that hill a uh, dike for breakfast it is it <laughs> it's so effortless to get up hills in these in this thing um i think i i attributed some to the tires some to the tire size itself some to the suspension and obviously you know the tuning that he put into programming the grip in this truck but it's just a it's a great truck and and the way it's like the way it's set up is it's right about the same size as say like you know an xj or something like that it's a little it's a little bit bigger than something like you'd say a YJ maybe, but I was right about that same XJ size, which is really, it's not quite full size, but it's not quite Jeep Wrangler size either, so it kind of strikes a nice in-between balance. I'll put it in high again and let it eat. Come on! This thing doesn't even blink at a freaking obstacle. It, it doesn't even blink. It doesn't, it doesn't misstep. It doesn't hiccup it doesn't do it doesn't do anything it just absolutely turns a, a trail into its into its bitch that's what this thing does and even when it comes to rocks it's so easy to get up and crawl right over them like there's not even a change in 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 speed most of the time the only thing you do have to you do have to like not necessarily worry about but just keep an eye on is getting high centered because if you take a wrong line you will high center the thing as we just have but generally it's okay when you're on really you know dense trails because you'll have winch points 
pretty much everywhere that you can winch to. Um, and with that being said, though, winching is usually that one thing that's like a little bit of a pain that you want to avoid. So you avoid it. I get that. It, it, it's, it's something that you don't always want to be caught in the act of. But if you do have to, then that's fine. Getting up over the next set of rocks. Damn, getting really hung up. And I spoke too soon, apparently. Not even close to being hung up. You can see the propane in the back? It's a full propane setup truck. Oh, God. Okay. That got interesting real quick. Now, here, you've got, like, basically three different lines you can take. You can take a low line way down through the water, like, or around the tree. You can take, like, a middle line, or you can take, like, a high line. I'm gonna take, I guess, somewhat of a middle line, just because I want a little bit of a challenge, I guess? And, because I was kind of previewing these trails earlier, and I took, like, the high line, which was a little bit easier, I'll have to admit, but... Hey, even taking the middle line, truck didn't even complain, not even minorly. Work my way around the side. Thank God for rock sliders. Haven't been high centered yet. Try and walk my way through the middle right here. That is the line I was looking for. Yes! Using the sidewall, too. We were just taking a mirror off. <laughs> but yeah, using the sidewall on these TSLs. Getting them to grip up real well. Trying to see if I can cause it to hook up. It's it's trying. No, it's good. Clunks down a little hard, but... Other than that, I mean, it makes absolute just, you know, really short work of any rock section, trail section, hill. I mean, you saw how it just flew up those hills in high. It's It's got absolutely nothing going against it really this truck is is you know just about bulletproof it's it's such a good platform and such a well done truck with such high grip levels frankly that the control you get out of it and the and the grip and reliability that you get out of it you know reliability not necessarily on whether it breaks down or not but you know whether or not it, it will make it up a trail kind of reliability is just huge even you, you can even stick it in automatic, and it doesn't complain. I mean, I, I don't really crawl in automatic very often because it's not necessarily the best mode to do it in. But nonetheless, it, it does work, and it does work pretty well. I mean, it hasn't gone gear hunting yet, so when it when when these automatics go, you know, try and gear hunt, it's 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 really annoying, and it, it makes it really difficult to crawl up stuff. But right there, like the change to second was immediate. It was quick, and change back to first was immediate. It was quick. There was no waiting. It was just like, oh, we need second gear, let's go. We need first gear, let's go. It changes fast. It, it kind of predicts what you need to do before it happens, actually. And that's very rare for any automatic transmission in spin tires. Most of the automatic transmissions in spin tires are really dumb. The, like, the brain behind them is really weird and wonky and loves to hunt for gears all the time. This truck has none of that. Literally has none of that. And... Frankly, I, I don't think I've driven a better automatic transmission in spin tires in a long, long time. Holy crap. Look at that. That is a hell of a trail. And I know this thing does well in automatic, but I'm going to stick it in low for this. Little bit of damage on the bumper. Let's see. A little bit passenger. Just working our way through. A little hit to the side. Back end will slide around kind of nicely. That's that's not even flexed. That's that's when you get to that point, you're literally hanging. Ooh, that's flexed though. That works out really well. No high centering, but we have a bumper hitting issue.
Not bad. I'm, oh, oh god. <laughs> Just sliding on the undercarriage. It's good we have massive skid plates under this thing. In fact, I don't know. We probably don't. We probably don't. I was just assuming we did. Actually, if you look under there, you can see the drive shaft. And I feel like we would have just snapped it just then. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. So far, so good, though. Haven't had any major getting stuck issues. How far along are we on this trail? Like, how much further does it even go? It goes, well, the rocks go apparently only a little bit longer. So we'll do this last rock section, and then we'll end up at the end of the trail. I just don't like the way that front bumper hangs over. Like, that that's, that's just a design characteristic of the truck, because the S10s have this, like, or at least, like, the more round body S10s kind of have a, like, the rounder body S10s have this weird front overhang that doesn't really lend itself well to an off-road vehicle, I think, but, I mean, that can be, that can be gotten rid of with big enough tires and enough, you know, you know, front caster, you can just push the front axle as far forward as possible, but, I mean, I don't know, at the same time, it just, it doesn't, never seemed like the best design, uh, for off-road use to me. Oh, working our way through nicely, though. See, when the tires hit first with this thing, it's game over for everything else. It's absolutely game over for everything else. Literally, that's the rock section. That's the whole rock section. And we're just about at the end of the trail. It's just such a great trail. It's like you set off on a trail... I don't think I've ever been on a trail in spin tires that this thing couldn't do. Like, there's nothing I would say that, like, oh, yeah, that, that truck, nah, probably couldn't do it. No, this truck could do it. This truck could do whatever you want. This truck could do any trail you throw it at, and I'm willing to stand by that. You know, show me a trail that this truck absolutely can't do and just gets either stuck or beached or just straight up doesn't have the grip for or doesn't have the gearing for. I, I, I want to see it. I genuinely want to see it. And then, end of the trail, yeah, it opens up right there, you can see the water. So, I am so pleased with this truck. I, I, I don't think I've found anything so far that does this well um, in a variety of environments, like trailing, rock crawling, hill climb. This truck is an absolute beast and a monster, and you guys, all of you need to get it. So if you guys did enjoy this video in spin tires, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And don't forget to subscribe for more. There will be at least two, two to three videos every single day. So again, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.